Aquarius, we are gathered here today for your fourth astral lecture. Burn some red blood sage for your energy today. Get some cleansing. Yeah. All right. So uh, Aquarius, release toxicity and um, ground yourself. Aquarius tend to be is actually the most detached sign of the zodiac, being an air sign and being an, an eccentric thinker. The mind is always off, creating new ideas or just thinking up stuff. Um, but yeah, so the um, the theme of today's fourth astro lecture for you today, Aquarius, is going to be release toxicity, ground yourself. Grounding you today for your reading. We have the magician. Very good energy here today. So you shouldn't have a problem uh, transmuting negative or toxic energies, releasing them, you know, letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore, and, and manifesting something that is more in line with your destiny or who you are. All right, so great potential here. Grounding your energy today, Aquarius, the magician. One of my favorite cards in the uh, in the uh, in the tarot because it shows how well you are um, how well you're manifesting. And then we have the Knight of Swords, wanted wanting to deliver a message or holding back from delivering a message and spying, maybe an amateur uh, speaker or an amateur orator or some type of an amateur artist. Maybe doing voiceover work as well. Uh, receiving uh, messages from birds, someone that could be uh, connected to birds or uh, spirit uh, totem or spirit animal, maybe birds, crows, ravens, eagles owls maybe your state bird <laughs> maybe you're seeing a lot of birds lately but yeah definitely uh, again a young fellow or an amateur uh, maybe even an, an, uh, an amateur I want to say youtuber so when we look at the magician it's someone that's able to manifest an entrepreneur of sorts so it could be um, you know a, a you know someone that creates content pretty much you know I don't want to limit it to, uh, to one thing but an amateur content creator all right let's see what else we have here we have the ten of Pentacles so ideas that can bring you great benefit help you bring down um, you know from needers bring down tangibles Developing ideas to bring um, more success to the family and more success to the home. Could be purchasing a house or having a house built. And yeah, the typical happy happy family card. You have the the matriarch and the patriarch. You have the kids. Maybe you could be delivering a message in regards to children or delivering a message on how to obtain abundance. Maybe some form of a, a counselor or an advisor, maybe even a therapist trying to help people uh, keep their families together. Yeah, generating uh, generational wealth could also be a family entrepreneurship dynamic. You have the Nine of Cups, something that you feel, uh, you know, it brings you emotional fulfillment, something that you feel passionate about. Maybe a new job or a new business that you're creating again. A manifester, a magician, an entrepreneur. 
content creator, YouTuber, marketer, advertiser, whatever the case may be. Uh, but yeah, the Nine of Cups, uh, this has to deal with nines being um, ending karmic cycles or moving towards uh, the things that satisfy you or make you happy. Filling your own cup. These are cups behind her that are bringing her fulfillment. She does not have a cup in front of her ready to present to someone. Could be dealing with a Cancer or Leo as well. We see the cat and the the crab at the bottom. Maybe someone from different cultures or different from uh, different religions that are communicating with each other on a spiritual level. We see the water, the, the water here. So it could be some form of a, a spiritual guru or a spiritual a spiritual teacher. Uh, that um, that is delivering a message to a large group of people or to his initiates or his students or even taking on an apprentice a magician with his I'm sorry a magician <laughs> with his or her apprentice so yeah uh, definitely good energies coming in so far uh, it's like a um, upward movement should I, I would say uh, and kind of a leveling up or bettering yourself or uh, expanding your view of things you know I recently gave a lecture about trees being taller than humans you know they reach up to the sun uh, higher than humans do so they have a higher perspective I even have certain pictures of myself uh, taking selfies under the, uh, trees and things like that but even birds birds have a higher view than trees they have wings so they have a higher level of awareness so uh, this relationship or this course or this guru or teacher uh, is giving you a higher perspective or a higher level of awareness And then we have the star mm. Recently spoke about the star. This is your card Aquarius The water bearer <laughs> You see me? It's like turning vapor into water or turning water into vapor. <laughs> but yeah, definitely uh, seeking a wish fulfillment or a wish coming true. Someone is showing you the, uh, the secrets or the odysseys of life. Uh, uh, ways to actually touch a star, um, physically or metaphorically. Um, gaining insight. Uh, celebrity influence maybe in contact with a celebrity <laughs> delivering a message to a celebrity or a celebrity or already someone that is a master or a star is deliver wants to deliver a message to you or you want to deliver a message to a master or a star or this could be your two opposing personalities someone that is already established a master in their own rights they feel like they have done everything again everything uh, in this picture pentacles you have wands you have swords you have cups so someone that feels like they have experienced the abundance of life and then you have the star the divinely guided one the water bearer the bringer of life knowledge and intelligence coming in to bring balance to the situation um, deliver wise counsel however much of an amateur it may be sometimes parents can learn things from their children that's the whole point of community it's the whole point of family to share in the abundance and to uh, you know appreciate uh, the subtlety, the subtleties and the oddities of our differences. That that's what makes us uh, different from each other within our families and our groups, our cultures, our nations, our religions. Each person has their own identity. So again, a monk can go sit in, at the top of a mountain or a temple for 20, 30 years in silence, but at some point, the human experience is more than just that that monk wanting to experience the waters of life wanting to communicate cups are about water emotions and people that trigger these things within us and they're dreaming off out dreaming about you know 
but I mean, it could also be a, a message of personal fulfillment as well. You know, there's also water in this picture. So you're you're healing yourself. You're being balanced to your situation. You may even come out. Uh, people may view you as a celebrity. And the star card often usually indicates a celebrity. So what other messages can I pull in for you today, Aquarius? You know, two of cups. So a meeting of the minds doesn't necessarily have to be a relation, uh, a love relationship. This is bringing balance, uh, bringing not so much of a closure to this situation because this is the nine of cups and this is the two of cups. So we're skipping over 10 of cups, which would be what you would really want. And we're going to uh, 11 which is a more spiritual aspect of this relationship. You guys may not even be in contact with each other um, right now. Uh, maybe some form of a separation or even some form of a divine interception. Uh, life paths may be carrying you in different directions. So maybe you could be on opposite ends of the world, but you still have ways of communicating with each other. So let's pull in some final messages and some advice for you today, Aquarius. Yeah, definitely good energy today. So, you know, whatever toxicities you need to release or grounding that you're needing to do, um, having the utmost most confidence and faith that you will be uh, doing the necessary work. out today's astro lecture for you today Aquarius what advice can your angels spirit guides ancestors any messages universe any messages for Aquarius can Aquarius bring balance to the situation How can Aquarius bring balance to the situation universe so, Aquarius, we have the Five of Wands. Not sure if you're needing to make a change here. Wands are about uh, our passionate ideas, spirituality, you know, getting physical. Uh, this is normally looked at as a card of fighting amongst the council. You see, we have the council women, uh, you know, and this could be masculine or feminine. Um, you see the council women arguing with each other. You see the cats down at the bottom <laughs> arguing with each other. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to use my other camera next time. Mm. But yeah, definitely uh, what should be uh, people working together, they are uh, arguing amongst each other or experiencing a, a moment of great change in the rules, change in the system, uh, a difficulty in the situation as well. You often have to, when you go through change or you're experiencing new things that you have not experienced before, whether it's someone doing something to you or saying something to you that you've never experienced before or you just even... Um, Aquarius all about taking that leap and being the star or the celebrity um, often you have to uh, <laughs> you have to um, you have to combat with people sometimes you know I don't like to bring up uh, negative people in history but you know again um, being a man of certain uh, a level of consciousness and um, wanting to control everything and fight with people all the time you know um hitler was very good at cornering people and arguing them down for hours at a time to have them agree with uh what he uh, what his ideals were so uh in this in that in that moment we need people with equal strength and equal energy able to get in front of these people uh, as our wise councilmen and wise councilmen and leaders and protectors, you know, grounding your energy today was the magician. Hopefully you don't have any nefarious energies 
uh, grounding you, uh, release toxicity, right? No fighting. And that is going to be the end of your astro lecture today, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed your reading and you got some messages from your reading today. Always a joy reading for Aquarius. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> be safe.